Thank you for viewing Module 5 of our Policy Surveillance Training video series. In this video, you will learn about coding the law. By the end of this video, you should be able to define coding the law, understand the difference between coding for legal assessments and policy surveillance, and understand the steps used to perform quality control on coding. Coding the law is where question development and collecting the law come together. Coding the law seeks to use laws that are collected for each jurisdiction in Module 4 to answer the questions that were developed in Module 3. Coding the law can be performed using one of several legal mapping tools. It is possible to code the law using software such as Excel or Word, and some web-based tools exist that are designed specifically for coding legal questions, such as the monocle. When coding for legal assessments, the law need only be coded once for each jurisdiction, capturing a snapshot of what the law looks like at one point in time. However, when coding for policy surveillance, multiple versions of the law should be coded for each jurisdiction, representing different points in time. Researchers should code a new record of law for each amendment that has been made to a relevant law. The objective of longitudinal coding is to show the law's evolution over time. Here's an example of what coding could look like in a legal assessment. The researcher would read the question, identify the relevant section in the legal text, and observe what is in the law to respond to the question. For policy surveillance projects, multiple versions of legal text should be coded in each jurisdiction. For each time a law is amended, a new iteration must be coded to reflect that amendment. Previous records should not be overwritten. New records should be added instead to show the evolution of the law over time. An iteration is a version of the legal text for a jurisdiction, which represents the law at a specific point in time. For more information on quality control, please see Module 6 of our learning library, Quality Control. When performing quality control on coding, the supervisor should assign 100% redundant coding until there is a rate of divergence of less than 5% between the researchers. At that point, the supervisor can reduce the rate of redundant coding to 20%. This pattern is followed until all jurisdictions are coded. Here you will find a summary of what we have covered on coding the law. To learn more about conducting policy surveillance, please visit the Learning Library at lawatlas.org to access additional modules and resources, including Module 6, Quality Control. Thank you for watching.